subjek Math 183 Sir Mat Salim bin Selamat My name is Sharifah dan Komarina Husna binti Saima Ma'am Justo and my ID today is 2020815206 and we are from class N4CS1121 D. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Shadatul Aliza binti Muhammad Saleh and my matrix number is 2020868926. Hi, my name is Nuri Shaida Binti Zainurin and my ID student is 2020488236. And in this video, we will explain about application of a differentiation. Regarding to our task video assignment that was given. Okay, so this topic which is application of differentiation is the third chapter in our syllabus Math 183 Calculus 1. The concept of differentiation centers on derivative which is an outcome of any slope of any tangent. In this application of differentiation, we can show that application of derivative in solving problem involving the changes of rate, uh, maximum and minimum problem and also analysis of function. And why do we use the application of differentiation in our life? This differentiation can help us to calculate, to solve the real life problem, which is to calculate the cost, to calculate the strain, to calculate the volume in any particular object, or maybe to calculate the profit or loss in our life. In differential calculus, related rate problem is a compute the rate of change of one quantity in terms of the rate of change of another quantity whose rate of change is known. The rate of change is usually with respect to time and the procedure is to find an equation that relates the two quantities and then use the chain rule or implicate differentiation to differentiate, to differentiate both sides with respect to time. Supposedly, related rates are so important because there are so many real world application of it, like a snowball melting, a ladder falling, a balloon being blown up, or a stone treating a circular ripple in a lake, or two people moving away from each other at the right angle. So in this video, we will solve a problem statement that related rates application can be used to answer the focusing problem as well as the elevation problem. The question is, there is an inverted cone is 20 cm tall has an opening radius of 8 cm and was initially full of water. It is now being drained of water at the constant rate of 15 cm each second. The water surface level fall as a result. At what rate is the water level falling when the water is halfway down the cone? Before we solve the problem, we must approach each problem in the problem statement by using four steps. The first one is identify the variable given and the quantities that need to be determined. Draw a picture if one is not given. Second, write an equation involving the risk whose variable are given or need to be determined. Do not substitute yet unless the value will never change. Third, using the chain rule, implicitly differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. Fourth, substitute into the resulting equation all known, val all known values for the variable and their rates of change. Then, solve for the required rate of change. Now, let's move on to the solving problem. As you can see here, I have highlighted the main points stated in the question. Then, I write down things to make it easier for me to understand. The question states the height of the cone is 20 cm and the radius is 8 cm. The h over dt is the thing we had to find while dv over dt is already given in the question. The reason I put a negative sign here is because the question states that the water is being drained. So, if the quantity decreases, you have to put negative here by hand. 
According to the four steps that I already mentioned, the first step, we need to draw a picture of the physical situation. Like this. The second step is, write an equation that relates the quantities of interest. The formula that we use is V equal to 1 over 3 pi R square H. There are two triangles which are the small one and then the larger one. Both of these triangles are the same triangles. So, R over H must equal to 8 over 20. We have to solve the R, so it will be like this. And then, substitute the R into the equation, like this. Steps number 3, take the derivative with respect to time of both of your equation. Remember the chain rule. So let's look at my calculation referred to the question given. Steps number 4, solve for the quantity you are after. If we refer back to the equation, we have to find the dh over dt when the height is 10 cm. And it is also given that the dv over dt is negative 15. At this point, we just have to substitute the value. So let's see my calculation to find the dh over dt. And finally, for the conclusion, we can conclude that all the objectives that we use to solve this problem are accepted. And the solution that we use to find the value of rates in this question are succeed. So, we can use these ways to solve another question that related to our daily life.